Uh, you know, I love it when you unmute at the perfect time. That is hilarious. <laughs> Folks, it's Sunday. Welcome aboard the Margu Campaign, a.k.a. our tri-generational group. Uh, these guys are here to entertain you for the next uh, two hours or so. Uh, maybe, maybe not. We'll see how it goes. Uh, hopefully, uh, Frank Sr. Uh, cares a little bit more next time and shows up early. You know? I don't think so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> folks, uh, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our crap, phone case, shower curtain, duvet cover, blah, 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 it's down there. Uh, most importantly, if you want to be on a one-shot like last night, or if you want to be on the talk show, mhobo Inc. Twitter or Gmail, hit us up. We will get you on there. Uh this coming week, all campaigns, so no go. Next week after that, we'll have a one shot. Uh, thank you to Pirate Dog Dice for not making me roll big red last night. They uh, shot themselves in the foot, so that's nice. If you want custom dice, at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter. And of course, if your game stinks, not like ours, our games are awesome. Try some Adventure Sense. They smell wonderful and will make your game a whole lot better uh, they also have the shine system so if you want to learn how to write gooder uh pick up the shine system and it'll show you how to write much more better so let's go ahead and introduce you to our crew then we'll go ahead and give you an overview we will start with uh one of the four franks we'll start with middle frank who are you who are you playing i am robert of zeppelin i am playing the magical whimsical uh, bard of chicken man oh that is right I am the chicken herder. No more to be said. I am whisperer. Battle chicken You're herder. the whisperer. Chicken whisperer. The chicken whisperer. He knows the 11 spices and seasonings. Uh, next up is uh, the youngest, chicken Frank. Uh, and he is Princess something or other today. Princess Fluffy Bottom. I hate, I hate you so much. You know, I hate you. <laughs> Hey, oh, for, you know, who are you? Hey, you're going to be old and like in a bed, and I'm just going to punch you right in the stomach. <laughs> who do you play there, man Fang? It's going to work. I'm playing Spoiler, Fluffy Fluffy Bottom. Bottom. I'm playing Princess Fluffy Bottom, a fighter. A fighter? <laughs> a fighter dragonborn. A lover? And, a oh, scholar? Yes. A man of many things. Intelligent is one of the... One diplomat. Of the, yeah, diplomat. Diplomat, yeah. Healer. Mm -hmm. I'm a man of many occupations. One of them being talents. Uh I was a waitress at some point. That happened. You know, waiter. Wait, waiter. Hey, you got tipped. They tipped you well. well so you he, did he's job. going full on Princess Fluffy Bottom, so he was a waitress. Yeah. That's he identifies weird. as him, she, her, it <laughs> was. There, there, is, there, there is no shame here. The only shame is our gameplay. Uh, <laughs> AJ, you are up next. Who are you? Who are you playing? I am AJ, and I am a human rogue degenerate gambler, and I am playing Felix, a human rogue degenerate gambler, uh, <laughs> who is now called Felix the Great, according to Dalton. <coughs> sure, we'll yeah. go with that, because there's yeah. nobody that can uh, deny that. Uh, yeah, that's right. Jason, your turn. Who are you? Who do you play? I play Copious Volbitters the uh, Third, a gnomish brewmaster and part-time witch. And uh, I just Princess Fluffy Bottom. I think Steve Miller actually sang a song about all the career choices that Princess Fluffy Bottom had, actually. Mm -hmm. I, and he does not have any idea who that is. <laughs> uh, next up, uh, Nicholas, you're kind of long winded, so let's go ahead and keep it short. <laughs> I understand. I'm Haggis Crafts, Dave. <laughs> I cut yeah. it for the time. Do we have enough time to play the? <laughs> you know, that's as long as you always do it. You've you've cut me to the quick. Uh, finally, the guy who really doesn't want to be here this week he just nope. doesn't care. Uh, Frank nope. Senior. <laughs> uh, I am Leaf, the Druid slash <laughs> Tempest cleric. Uncaring, don't give a damn about nada. That, does, that doesn't sound like you. Uh, folks, this is for mature audiences because he is having a bad day. So take what he says with a grain of salt. 
but take what he says. Anyway, these guys uh, have been geese gazed, quested to go pick up a jewel in a long forgotten, long lost fortress called Copus Keep. They did so after Robert of Zeppelin had his lycanthropy removed, question mark, uh, by the Sisters of the Moonlight. Uh, they have accepted this challenge. They are at the end of day three. They have had a few, we'll call them missteps, uh, including Felix getting kidnapped because of his overactive libido. Uh, but they have found their way into Corpus Keep. Unfortunately for them, uh, while it used to be at the top of the mountain, it has fallen down into a crevasse. And a lot of that courtyard is straight down. Uh, the sides of the keep are precariously held onto a ledge. Uh, last time, they had to face such heathen adversaries such as a mountain climbing goat, uh, a horde of spiders, and two enormous angry spiders. There's a lot of spiders in this keep for some reason. These guys are on the ground floor. Uh, however, there is a deep crevasse. Uh, they are checking on the first of three buildings. The first building housed a pair of ugh, uggo spiders. Uh, they, they have, however, uh, were victorious. Uh, so, gentlemen, uh, you've got the partial gate, the, the tower curtain wall, spanning the crevasse. You still have two more buildings on this side before you attempt to cross the misty confines. You are in search of a magical jewel that you will know when you see it, is the only thing you've been told. What would you like to do? So it's not really pulling us in any kind of direction, like, oh, yeah, I want to go up there. Nothing like that. Nope. I, I think we've kind of... Uh blown a hole in this building's floor so we probably should go check out the next one that everybody's the agreeable to it i yeah. i concur yes indeed yeah and then <laughs> <Jones, laughs> they threw they threw the uh, words the thing you're cutting out he sounds like a drive through <laughs> yeah hey, you want like fries, fries with that, that? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a big shake? In Indiana Jones, they took gunpowder and it led towards the box. Maybe the crystal has mag. <laughs> Want to light the castle on fire? Okay, magnetic properties. Yeah, but yeah. Sure. Or maybe it's too hot, and like you'll get cold in different places. That's true. So who here has gunpowder? Uh, I always keep a small sack on. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do yeah. not. <laughs> You know, never, for regular use, I just have a small. Never, ever, ever, ever say I always keep a small sack on me. Ever. Never under any circumstances. Not in this group. That. Ever. <laughs> that, that is wrong. Uh, so you want to go to... I need to change his name already. Building number two. Number two, uh, please. Uh, as you guys come up to this, this building is connected to the other two, as is typical in fortresses. You glance into this chamber, uh, allows you to see a variety of tools hanging on pegs uh, on the tilted walls or scattered throughout the floor, because, of course, the drop from the mountain on high has sundered parts of the uh, Old lumber abounds in this chamber, and it appears as though this may have once been a carpenter's workshop. Do you want to enter or say or wouldn't give it a quick look around? Yeah, and you're saying there's still tools and supplies inside this workshop? There are uh old tools, uh, but still usable, a little bit on the rusty side, but uh it definitely would appear to be carpenter's tools. This right. this structure will be uh long and narrow, a lot like a shotgun house. So does it look sturdy? Okay. I will. I will take a survival check to see if it looks sturdy. Can I just throw a rock in there? I'm just gonna throw another rock inside of the room. Sure. My survival yeah. check was 27. Wait, uh, I can. I want to know what the initiative order was because if Robert walked in the room before Manfang threw the rock in, I didn't walk in. I just asked a question. Yeah, I, I don't think anybody is technically in except for Manfang's rock, but. 
Man Fang's going to have to roll because I don't think Man Fang's in front. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't think I am. I don't know. And we'll we'll really... go one or two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, a rock. He. It's like that's a five. He was close. He rolled a five. <laughs> He hit the door frame right above our heads. Um, <laughs> Robert, as you peer in, Leaf, as you peer in, it appears to be sturdy, but then a rock rings off of odd Robert, even Leaf. Three uh, rings off Robert of Zeppelin's shoulder, careens in, dust begins to fall from the ceiling, and a loud creak is heard. You aren't sure if it's from the wood inside or Robert's shoulder. <laughs> I'm sure enough. Hey, that, I, don't say any, I don't say anything in there. I don't think I want to go. Does it, I'm going to look down at the floor. Does it appear to have a, a, a empty place below it also? Uh, you're going to have to lean in to take a good I'll lean in and look. Somebody catch up. Man, Faye, you wanna you wanna do another rock? <laughs> <laughs> I, should, I think my other test. I should be. I should just push him in. I think. I think. Oh, like boy. Well, Hoggis, Felix, Copius, give me perception checks while Leaf is looking in. Please. Thirteen. Nineteen. Okay. Nineteen. Eleven. Copious, Eleven. Copious, you pretty sure you hear some kind of rustling or disturbance? Minor, not combat, in that third building. Leave as you look in, give me an investigation check. Copious is going to start drifting. That's a 20. Dirty. Dirty 20. Uh, You see gaps, and uh, there's a a slight wafting from below. And what do I waft? Uh, Stale air from the chasm. Stale air from the chasm. Mm -hmm. That's If I don't really see anything in there worthwhile, I'm not going in. Is that uh, popping up? As a yeah. druid, as a druid, uh, I would imagine you have great disdain for carpenters since they kill. Yeah, but he's the anti-druid. Actually, actually uh, carpentry is one of the skills that I can take as a druid. Then I'm going to say you find a lot of interesting old things hanging on the walls or on the floor. So I'm going to say you're mildly Damn interested. Damn it. Uh, Felix and Haggis, you notice that Copius is kind of trailing off towards that third area. I will follow. I as well will follow. And we split the party again. <laughs> three on Never three. Nice fun, do we? Nicely done, Dungeon Master. You know, sometimes they get it right. Copius, as you uh, enter the area of the third doorway, you notice that the chasm has partially sundered the entry point. However, an easy hop over would put you into this room. Uh, and when I say easy, I mean pretty easy. I mean, you're going to have to screw something up. You mean like roll one? Yeah. Yeah, I can do that pretty yeah. easily. Um, I will, before Copius goes in there, he's obviously going to, like the others, he's going to look in, try to get a sense for, does this look relatively sturdy? Or not? Is that a, can I do a survival? Not attack? even remotely. No. Yeah, it does. You don't even need a survival. To, it there's a lot of holes in this uh, floor uh, because there's a lot of casks in this floor. Uh, it appears as though the floor is submerged. Ergo, uh, possibly an ale storehouse, as you of all people recognize barrels. Uh, pony kegs, if you will, inside, but the floor is whew, iffy at best. Like, but this is a gnome that weighs like 30 pounds. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you, you, and, you and Haggis probably don't have to worry about anything. Felix the tank, eh, you know, that's yeah, be- copious. He has to try. He has His to try. weighs to try. more than you, copious. Sure. Well, he, is, he tells everyone his codpiece weighs. Yes, he does. He brags about how much that thing weighs. Maybe we should try a rock trick first. Before we go. Yeah, Copius <laughs> stands in the doorway with Felix to let Agus throw a rock. No, how about we just throw Copius? It'd be better. I agree with that. He's a rock. Uh, uh, gnome I, tossing. I'll gnome throw it, tossing. That's halfling tossing, not gnome tossing. Uh, <laughs> that's true. Copius well, loves halfling tossing. Agus, throw your rock. Okay. 
No, you can't hear you. Cut out again. Hey, hey, McDonald's, you cut out. Would you like? Oh, I don't want to make rib. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with this. Um, I throw a rock. Hit. <laughs> I would not roll really high or really low if I were you. Hmm. Like just a normal roll, right? Don't add anything. I got That's a nine. Okay. You can roll down. Oh, right in the middle. A nine. Uh, ten, so 14. Uh, you throw the rock. Pating, 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 pating. Boop. Through a hole in the floor. Copious, give me a perception check. Guys, it's pretty safe. It's pretty <laughs> I believe you. Right. 22. Uh, one of those hops didn't sound like a hop at all. It sounded more like a cork popping. Cork popping? Hmm? Back Maybe. over to the wood <laughs> shop. Uh, I have Leaf leaning down, looking through the floor. Robert's well, you said I was curious about what was inside. I'm assuming I walked on in there. Oh, okay. You can walk on in there. Uh Robert and uh, Princess Fluffy Bottom, do you want to go in there as well? Yeah, uh, sure. I'm going to grab a rock with me, though. <laughs> Six That's level good. adventures. I'm grabbing a rock, goddammit. That's the only thing I'm going to use this entire game is just one. <clears throat> hey, um, uh, there's a lot of power in a rock. I'm going to use this brick in maximum effort. Nice. Uh, thanks, Deadpool. Okay, you guys <laughs> go in, and again, this is kind of a narrow... Uh, yeah. You can get probably two of you side by side because you're beefy adventurers, and it goes about 12 feet down. You see a variety of wood piled up against the wall planers, sand blocks, saws, hatchets, things Chisels. of that nature. But give me an investigation check. Well, I'm going to cast light on the rock and throw it down the way to light it instead of somebody carrying a torch down here in this old, dry, dusty. Wood. Well, I can wood. see in the dark, so it's not a problem. I rolled an 18 on my investigation. Yeah, but you don't see quality in the dark. Yeah, you're, you're killing me, Smalls. I was going to do that. Uh, go ahead. Don't roll a one. Otherwise, you're going to bean leaf in the head. I didn't roll a one. Okay. Uh, I rolled throw, a five, but I didn't roll a one. You throw the rock in D12 against me. Well... Six. <laughs> you need to, we need to uh, your you know. rock careens in there. Ba bonk, ba bonk, ba bonk. <laughs> so now there's the light is flared out because a piece of plywood has fallen over it. Uh, cool. Just as you do so, Leaf notices plywood. Wow. <laughs> that is nice. There is a long two handled saw up there looks razor sharp wow i mean it is it is in in impressive condition I, for being down I, i'm here. going for, I, I want that saw i'm coveting coveting that saw i told well, you he's the anti-druid it, it, it's about eight feet long so you're gonna need help hey hey uh, uh, robert help me get this down princess fluffy bottom he needs help got it one of you grabs one side one of you grabs the other you gotta lift it up uh, off off this the yeah. Yeah. And as you do so, uh, a piece of flat wood falls. Uh, Robert, give me a perception check. <laughs> but that is uh, 21. I'll call it a cigar store Indian looking thing is standing there. As you look at it, you are impressed by the craftsmanship, and then the eyes boop, blink open. <laughs> I'm glad I stayed in the door. <laughs> uh, you guys can roll initiative. All right. <laughs> Bring it home, baby. Shit. 18. Not us. I'll go last. 17. 18. Nice job. I know, right? I rolled a five. one. Oh, good. I rolled a five. Meanwhile, over in the strange area, Copius, you're, you're, no, you're sure you, that, no, that was a pop. You heard a pop. And I'm Positive. looking around, and I'm looking around. I don't see where one of these casts popped a cork, right? Do you want to uh, kind of uh, look yeah, in? 
I do. I could look I, in I, for I, you. I want to do something else, actually. I want to cast Detect Magic on myself before I do, just to make sure there's not something else going on. On may yourself? Be careful, or maybe a weasel. Oh, well, you know, cast Detect Magic, yeah. There's a faint glow coming inside and to your left. All right, I'm going to look in and see if do I you can... Want me to throw, I could throw a rock Let's in that Don't direction. throw another rock. Don't, don't <laughs> throw another rock. It's a pretty good idea. As you now, you have not jumped in yet, correct? I have not jumped in yet. All right. The, the faint glow is in your blind side, about your three o'clock position. I'm jumping in the thing, trying to look for the sturdiest spot. <laughs> uh, if I get my dex bonus, 15. You jump in, land, d dust and debris fall. Okay. You look around. And you see a female <laughs> spit a cork out. <laughs> she is wearing the same robes as those jack wagons you met on the road. And as she pulls her cowl down, Skinheads. skinhead, skinhead, oh. oh shit. <laughs> oh. And she wings her bottle of wine at you. Uh, 16? Uh, miss. It shatters across on the floor behind you. Hagus, Felix, uh, you see Copius do a dodge and see a bottle strike the wall, uh, sending crap everywhere. I'll take initiative from you guys at this point. Okay, okay but the, the Nazis like Felix, remember? Good what? place oh. for a curved arrow, Felix. Yeah. And, uh, uh, oh, I don't curved arrows. Ah, damn. Just put a little bend in one yeah. of them. One more time. Uh, 14. Dodge, duck, dive, dip, dodge. 14. 14. Well, but the Nazis liked Felix because he was human. Oh. <laughs> oh. I, just uh, I never thought I'd hear. 11. Gotcha. Uh, okay there, Haggis Crapstain. Uh, you're up first. Uh, <laughs> something's going on. Okay, um, so, uh, Felix, something's going on. <laughs> I, I'm well aware. Thank you. <laughs> Man, a few words. Okay. Uh, is there a sturdy spot I could jump on? Because I think. Well, when you land, you'll I'm in the doorway. You'll jump on the same spot that Copious is on. That, that's a bad idea. Copious, that's not a good idea. H have you ever played shuffleboard? Yeah. Okay. That's what you're looking <laughs> for. <laughs> okay. So, um, jump on in. Just um, don't jump too well. Don't jump too poorly. <laughs> okay, I'll jump in. Um, what do I add? Next. Next. Okay, then that is a 12. Oh, very nice. Right in the middle. Hiya! Uh, Copious, you are no longer alone. Uh, good news. Bad news is she got the 13 and she goes, Phew, web. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going to need some saving throws. <laughs> What's the saving throw? Dex or strength? Uh, uh, I'll give you your choice right now because I'm looking it up. And I'm horrible at this. Doesn't Where's matter. It? Whatever you want me to use, I still didn't make it. Think of well, well, strength, I it? Dex to dodge it and strength to get out of it. Yep. Still doesn't Haggis. matter. Haggis. Was it a one? Uh, it was not a one. 14. Two. Uh, very good. Haggis, uh, as you are shocked at this female skinhead, she throws a cobweb and it takes Copius off his feet and <laughs> splatters him onto the wooden deck. Okay. Is he uh, stationary? He's not moving, right? Correct. Okay, okay, but that's fine because, like, we're worried about falling and the place breaking. If you're not moving, that's yeah, fine. Unless, unless the wall goes down. And then it's <laughs> right. Uh, that brings us to Felix. You also see this web. Uh, Copious has been gooed to the wall. <laughs> I think Felix can understand this concept. <laughs> yes, yes, I can. <laughs> uh, I think I'm still on the outside. Just well, outside the doorway, I'm gonna kind of lean around. Can I see where the web came from, or is the you, geometry? You, of the you room? can see about that much. 
And I'm going to attempt to shoot an arrow at whatever I can see. Sure. Go I for the shoulder. Oh, boy. It's somebody right in the back of the head. Hey, we're not. Somebody's getting hit on this yeah. one. Hey, shouldn't oh. I try to burn that web off of Copious? Well, yeah. Burn, <laughs> burn the web off of him. It's the only way to get rid of him. Burn the web. I, 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 I have some acid we could put on him. Just I, 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 the web would go away. The minute he leaves the room, you guys are all over those dumbass ideas trying to kill Copious. Oh, yeah. Copious. Hey, I resent that comment because I do the same damn stuff when he is here. True. <laughs> so I'm guessing I also do I get a sneak attack bonus on this one? Oh, yeah. If you hit her. Oh, wait, I, do I hit her with a 19? Just barely. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> That's not good. That is not good. Uh, boy, did I hit her. Uh, Isn't she, like, drunk or something? Shouldn't she get, like, a disc then? Nine plus well, 15, maybe she's 24. 24 is good. She, uh, she has a high constitution. End of round one. In the word shop... Uh, Leaf, you're holding the saw. Man Fang, you're holding the saw. Robert, do you want to alert them as to, holy shit, Pinocchio's in this place? That's exactly the words I want to use. Holy shit, Pinocchio's in this place. Man Fang, you're up first. Or no, Robert is up first with a set. Or no, I'm sorry. Man Fang with the 18 is up first. Okay. Man what I'm planning on doing is holding the saw, then letting go and going, ah, and running the other direction. What's so you're, you're running deeper you? into the room. Gotcha. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no. The saw can wait. Listen, cowardly, fluffy princess bottom. I'm dropping the saw so I can get it. It's, it's, it's strategic. And okay? then you're running away. I'm not running away. It's, it's, it's strategic. Okay? Even on. Tact, tactful retreat. Uh, roll roll up up run deeper. I got a question. The saw we just took down was the were the teeth up or down? Oh, we running teeth in. Oh, teeth wow. were down. Son of a bitch. Yeah, you know, it, you know, it's one of those old two man logger saws. Uh, Robert, uh, holy shit, Pinocchio's in here. Pshoo, exit stage right. Uh, Robert, you're up. Is it on a ceiling? No, it's in a small alcove. It was hidden behind some wood planks. Back so it, that it, was like, it was like a trap door being held shut by the saw. Has it even attacked us yet? No, it, it rolled a one on initiative. Oh, uh, uh, doesn't matter. Is it full size or is it a little boy? It is full size. It is a six foot creature. It's a man it, puppet. It's a man. wood golem. All right. Sorry, I had to bring up my, uh, I kept track of my spells, what I have left on here. Ah, a little, little, little short, are we? Darn. I want to make sure that I'm not, you know, using a spell that I don't have any pack <laughs> left to use. I've only used one in that slot. So we're going to Witch's Bolt. That's die 12. First to hit. 12 plus, that's dirty 20. Easily. Uh, Wood Golem has AC 13. Holy 24. shit. 24? Yep. Nicely done. Uh, the five, Leaf the Druid. I knew it was going to be worth going. Is it in front of me or behind me? It is to stuff. your uh, forward. So I, I surmise am you're I, on the right. Am I behind it? Uh, no, the alcove's right here. You're right here because you right. lifted it up. Manfang has gone deeper into the wood shop. I saw something interesting. Apparently yeah, looking yeah, for a sure switch. I'm going to drop the saw and attack. Sure. Because why not? This thing hasn't even said hi, bye, kiss my ass, but you guys are going to kill it. Yeah. 19, That's my way. 23. It's not really a good way. Well, if you guys were out of there, I'd Seven. set this place on fire. Seven with the first one, eight with the second. Fifteen. Nicely done. That's not too bad. Uh, as you drop this heavy duty saw, uh, uh, Man Fang and Leaf, you can feel the floorboards not very happy with it. Uh, the wood golem is even less happy with your actions. And because Man Fang has decided to ditch and Robert's still in the doorway, 
it strikes a pose like Muhammad Ali, and it's going to give you the left right there, Leaf. <laughs> Never say that to the DM. Not 20 and a 7. <laughs> hey, man. Does a 14 get you? Because it has plus 7 to hit. <laughs> no, 14 doesn't get me. Okay, the one punch gets you 3d6 plus 4. Ow. I see a murder hobo and two fours. 14 damage as... Boom! Iron Mike punches Leaf the Druid in the face. End of round one. Round two in the winery. What round is she two. gonna do, uh, Haggis? Okay. All right, so, you still have Copius pinned. Oh, I, hey, hang, I, on, hang on a second. Uh, Copius, you didn't get a strength save last time. I did so not, no. Go ahead and make your strength save. My apologies. Uh, <clears throat> I I doubt I saved. You did you doubt or did? I doubt I did. Uh, it's just my strength bonus plus my die twenty, right? Mm -hmm. Seven. Yeah. Okay, you're stuck. Okay, Haggis, <laughs> round two. Uh, your friend is whoop, sealed to the wall. Uh -huh. Haggis, get me out of here! I got a plan. Oh, <laughs> I have, oh shit! I have a better I got plan. A plan. Get me out of here. So what's first sleep? If it's his <laughs> first. And then sleep, uh, and then 5d8. Level one, sleep. Level one, you've got to roll the 5d8, and if the target's hit points is below the total of your 5d8, uh, it goes to Betty by time. Hmm. Hmm. That's, that's kind of cool. Um... Oh, that's not a good thing. Max of 40 hit points. Well, okay. Is she on me right now? Can she see me? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you're you're in plain view. Uh, also copious, your butt is wet because you landed uh where she threw the wine bottle. Your butt smells like wine. My butt you always smells like wine. Beer. Oh, good like wine? It, it was the bottle, so she We're going to We're going to go with that and not with the obvious You soiled yourself. <laughs> 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 no, 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 I didn't. <laughs> the butt side smells like wine. Nobody's checked the front side. In the pink house, having a butt that smelled like wine was pretty common, I hear. I would like to do the, the, the thing I did on that other creature where I, I made it, you know, lose points when it would hit. <laughs> oh, wait, no, that's not that. What? Um, that's a different character. <laughs> <laughs> that was a completely different person. Sorry. <laughs> I'd like to use my space gun on this creature. <laughs> Where did I give you that? I know I drink beer every once in a while during these shows, but I'm pretty uh, sure I didn't give you a space gun. Um, I'll I'll do. Is are they close to me? Uh, you can observe that several planks between you and her are missing. Being a human, she has a longer stride, so she and Felix can play hopscotch. Uh, you, however, so this is a good time to really. Oh, I have a longbow, I have an enchanted longbow. I'm bringing, I'm gonna... <laughs> yes, you do. I did, I forget about the gangster style because that's the only way you can use it. I just wrote the word long. I don't, I didn't, I, and, you know what? I, I've got to ask, it, are those Wonder Woman pants behind you? <laughs> it's the whole skirt. <laughs> Okay, so, so you know the you know the enchantment, right? I do. Okay, then I would like to shoot the longbow at her. Copious, you can see the tip of this longbow as the diminutive athlete stretches it out. You're like, oh, this is gonna hurt. If he had wax on the tip, he could just de-wax one of your nostrils. Okay, I got an 18. Oh yeah, you hit her. Okay, cool. And then with the enchantment on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what is it? Add two to your damage. Okay. Add two to your hit. Add two to your <coughs> two to your damage. I D six. Looks like the archers are cleaning house. It's a good thing. So that'd be like seventeen. 
That's not bad. That's that's yeah. pretty nice. Uh, however, as you hit her, she gets mad and just this blinding light triggers out from her. I need you to uh, wisdom save that, please. Um, so I got three. Blinding rebuke has taken over and you are now blind for four rounds. I say keep shooting because nothing's <laughs> bad. I feel, like, <laughs> feel like she's over there. She's she's over there. <laughs> hey, he he points at me. <laughs> He's right over there. I mean, she. Wait, he uh, or she? Copious is the one you're. I I mean, I, she. She's over there. It. The white she, thing. Hey, the thing covering the white. The white. She is going to cast another spell. And when do I get another uh, strength save for on this your, round? On, on your turn. You were last, sadly. Oh, what a surprise. Oh, nice. Somebody could always set his web on fire to get him out quickly. Okay. Oh, I could have you saved you. I was right next to you, Copius. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> could have. I told you I had a plan. Felix, <laughs> you hear arcane words all of a sudden... Uh, creatures of the night, black spirits, fill the doorway. I'm going to need a wisdom save from you. I think the most telling thing is neither party is yelling for help yet. <laughs> Nine? Oh, that is unfortunate. The uh, black creatures, spirits of the night... Uh, oh, Jesus. Uh, 15 damage begin to peck at you, and you are surrounded by these black spirits, yes, as they fill the doorway. Yeah, kind of like Conan. But it is, yes, exact, actually exactly like that. Uh, but it is your turn. Do you, A, get the spirits right in front of your face? Spirits. Or try and wing one around on the left? I'm still outside, so I think I'm going to go with the spirits that are right in front of me. Good call, because also right in front of you is Haggis Crabstain <laughs> with his bow. Go ahead. Love Robert, you. Robert, that'd be more like uh, Conan's little buddy. Oh, yeah. Uh, 18? Oh, very nice. Uh, yes. You hit them, and the spirits... Drop into cinder. Hmm. Uh, Copious, struggling mightily against the web bonds. Can you break free this time to the other side? Oh, no. <laughs> <They're all> <laughs> How did it go roll like me? Round two with Pinocchio. 18, Amanda Fang, Princess Fluffy Bottom. You're all right. Up. Once I'm a good distance away. Yeah. Uh -huh. What are you I'm gonna going do to there, <laughs> Princess Chicken Crap? <laughs> Run back in. Yeah. <laughs> Ran in a circle. You can feel ooh, 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 the planks giving way from your thunderous weight as you charge forward. I should run faster so I don't fall. <laughs> I think I think that's a good idea. And you notice oh, that oh. Leaf the Druid is also on this accordion ride. <laughs> I'll, be like a, I'll be like a ninja. I'll jump off the planks in midair. Oh yeah, you're a ninja, all right. And I think lofting yourself onto the frame is a is a fantastic idea. Cool. I'm not doing it, but cool. Mm -hmm. But I think you? you should somersault your way in. Handstand somersault would be great. <laughs> yeah, put a, yeah. I think I should fight him with my. I belly. think you should do a leaping battle at great axe attack. No, I think I should do like a Superman punch on Bruce Lee Wooden Man. Yeah, that's gonna feel good. I did not see TPK today. I really didn't, but okay, yeah, we can do that. Oh, that's I remember. I got the harpoon. I, I could be like Aquaman, but with a harpoon and stab. The, the good news is that ten days is irrelevant at this point. <laughs> you know okay, what? Man, Fang, what do you want to do? Fine, I'll hit him with my battle axe because you guys don't. Great like axe, it. great axe, battle axe. They're the same thing, just one's bigger. Yeah. Go ahead and hit. I have two swings. Yes. One of them's. Oh my god! Out. Every time you roll, it hits the floor. Uh, that's a hit. That's a. Hit. What it? What does it take to hit? Thirteen. 
Oh, you're way beyond. I hit. I hit as well. That's a natural 20. So, okay. Ooh, natural nice. 20. So that means you hit once for damage and then hit once. Damage, damage hit. modifier on the second one. All right. So uh, roll your first damage. Uh, 12. Yeah, side 12. 12 plus 5. That's your first hit. Oh, don't worry. It's got a lot of hit points. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 11 points on the first hit. Now roll damage twice. That is a 4. That sucks. And that's a 6. 10 plus modifier. That's a 15. 15 on the second. Got it. Uh, Robert of Zeppelin. Uh, uh, Paul Bunyan there just buried his axe into this creature. And it gives out some kind of wood splintering shriek. What you want to do? What if we cut it in half with the saw? What do you mean the ones that you guys had hanging above its head like Damocles' sword and then drop? That would have been an awesome idea. <laughs> That's but I'm, I like what you chose. <laughs> kind of hard to do that when you're running like a scared rabbit. It was a tactical retreat. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to hit it with burning hand. <laughs> it's tacticity. Sure. Fire. Fire. Fire in a carpenter shop. I still go fantastic. There's still sawdust all over, right? I just want to make sure. There and the sawdust right? has been kicked up. It's just going to be... The whole room is just going to... Yeah, I'm picturing backdraft. Mm -hmm. uh, and these guys are all uh, not Kurt Russell. Or no, these guys are all Kurt Russell. because sure. he died. Yeah. Man thing, I'm going to apologize now for calling you a scared rabbit because dumbass uses a burning hand. I'm going to run out of here. <laughs> He's going to be like, guys, I got this. Ooh. Burning hands, burning hands. I, I'm seeing Isengard right about now. <laughs> oh, that ain't gonna work. What? So, no, I was going to try something else to pull it closer to me, but no. It, that, it, that, I, was, I like that idea. I, I, oh, well, it was a lightning shot, but it wouldn't move because it uses strength and it's just gonna drag me to it, and I don't want to go in. <laughs> Screw it. I'm burning hand. You guys get ready to run. No, I'm ready to run already. <laughs> Wait, is my axe stuck in the, or did I hit him and then pull it out? Uh, we're going to see if you pulled out in time. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's like something you ought to be saying to Felix. No, yeah, that would have been. Because uh, uh, it's important to pull the axe out before the creature dies. Yeah. 30, 20 to hit. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Felix? <laughs> 17 points of burning damage. <laughs> oh, that's that's a nice hit. Nothing. I was remembering something else. Oh, okay. That's right. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, come, on. come on, Frank. That was a cone of fire into a wood shop. What do you got for him? What do you got? Uh, pretty much everything ignites in front of you, Leaf, including uh, the burning man. Uh, of course, man fangs on the other side of this jet of flame shot out by Robert of Zeppelin. And the ceiling and the floor uh, starts cooking. It is your turn. I'm gonna yell. I'm gonna yell at Man Fang. We gotta get out of here. Head for the door, and I'm heading for the door. Okay, I'm gonna run, but I'm also gonna take heavy steps as I run. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You've already gone there, <laughs> partner. All right. Uh, Leaf turns his back on the inflamed creature yes, for a potential opportunity attack. It is its attack, one to three leaf, four to six. I'm going to make a leap at rubber. Uno, I am going to try and punch leaf in the spine. All right, knock me right out that door, baby. He's not going to hit the catch. A nat one and a 13, but that is a dirty 20. Uh, so A, uh, its first hit hits you in the spine, the second hit goes face down for disadvantage. Uh, first off, your spine takes, eh, not bad, uh, nine hit points of damage, and you are lurched into Robert of Zeppelin. No. That will move us to round three. Round three over where Copius is still stuck to the wall. August oh, Crapstain, you are blind. Uh, hey Han Solo, you want to take a shot? <laughs> you feel unlucky? Huh, so like when you say blind, do you mean like 
I can see shapes. Like that. (laughs) Um, Use your masterful sense of hearing to find the the knife. The good news is you are on a small plateau of fragmented wood. (laughs) That's not good. Uh, At least you got the longbow to hang on to. (laughs) You gotta gotta yell at him. You're like a bat. It'll reverberate the walls, and you know exactly. Shoot at the noise, Nicholas. Shoot at the noise. You're like a shoot towards the noise. You gotta, you gotta act like a bat. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta. I mean, Copius was making some noise, but I'm just. So is it like dust in my eyes? Could I somehow? It's blinding light. It's you can't uh, be blind for four rounds. Blinding rebuke. So I, do do I know how long I'm going to be blind for? You do not know how long you're going to be blind. For. Forever. Okay. At least right now, this round you are. Is is the it's is the female a dog ma- in your future? <laughs> <laughs> is the is the female making any noises? Oh yeah, she's she's shouting curses at you and Felix for shooting her in the breastplate. Using my sense of ears, can I? See which direction she is. D12 <laughs> is echolocation. What's <laughs> going on? Come on, He's Batman. Like, Batman. Come on, Batman. Speak at him. Uh, you, you have a, a general idea where she's at, so you'll be shooting at minus two. So when I roll, I have to take a disadvantage. Not disadvantage. <laughs> minus two to your roll. With his bonus or no bonus? He can have his it, attack normally. But at the end, subtract two points. Okay. Which um, with the bow was a plus two points, so basically it's just a normal attack, right? Correct. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, oh, you got lucky. 19. 19 hits her. Okay. Uh, Hero! Damage. Two. Mm-hmm. 14. Nice. You guys are chopping away at her. Uh, unfortunately, you hear arcane words that you have heard before, and she casts poison spray at you, Haggis. She wants uh, a guy with glass. I mean, a blind guy. She wants she. She's going to poison spray the shit out of your bow. Uh, go ahead and give me a Constitution saving throw, please. Oh, that might give my bow poison. Think about it. Um, thirteen or no? Uh, Shoot arrows of poison. 15. No, every time he touches it, he gets poisoned. 15? You are safe. Uh, Copious, D12 against me. Oh. Five. Eight. Uh, you get hit by the poison spray that shoots over your colleague. You're going to take two hit points of damage, but you hear the webs start to sizzle. Uh, Felix, uh, Haggis, Haggis is just... Oh, oh, oh. Uh, and you are up. Uh, I'm going to try the lips of mockery and use the vicious mockery side of that. Nice. Uh, 14 for her save plus wisdom. plus <laughs> wisdom is uh, three, so 17. Yeah, she needed 13 for her wisdom. Yeah, she uh, is irrelevant. Now, Copious, uh, you hear the sizzle of the webs. I'm going to give you plus two on your strength roll. I'd give you a three. Oh, 19. You managed to break free. Give me a dex check to make sure you land on solid ground. Uh, 16. You land on a small outcropping uh, surrounded by a motish broken uh, area, but you are in good shape. Uh, I will give you a bonus action. Can I attack? If it's a ranged item. It's Eldritch Blast. Sure. All right. Two, two beams coming at her. And Copius is screaming, suck it, as he rolls two 20s. Nice. Uh, that you know what for shits and giggles, do your damage, but that's going to be more than enough to kill her. I just want I just want to enjoy the damage rolls. Right, eight, uh, eight. There's thirteen on one, and seventeen on the other. Wow, yeah, that thirty points really uh, took her down. Uh, Felix, Haggis, Copius. Uh, 
dust and debris continue to follow. Uh, Felix, if you peek in, you will also see this. Hagus, you do not see this. Uh, Copius, you see that holding her cloak together. That is shiny, Doink. that is pretty, uh, but unfortunately very on the wrong side of the room. While you ponder that, round three with Pinocchio. Uh, Leaf, you have been pushed into Robert uh, Manfang. Uh, roll a straight up d20, make sure your axe isn't buried. All right. 14 plus strength. Sure. No, it, it's straight up roll. Uh, you're fine. Oh, okay. you, you're, you're chopping away at it. It's on fire. It is now prone in front of you. Uh, everything else is on fire. You may leap over it. You may chop very forcefully straight down on top of it if you'd like. Uh, those are your two choices. Okay. So it's on fire and everything else around it's on fire. Mm -hmm. Everything else around you is on fire. Great. <clears throat> so is the area tar? I can run. Can I run to the street at the door? You have to leap over. You got to leap over. I got to leap over him. It, it, that. All right. I'd like they. to. I'd like to run and then take a and then like I'd like to jump and stomp on his head and then keep going. Oh, Jesus like I'd be so cool. That'd be so cool, right? No, you know what you're what playing with, right? <laughs> yeah. That, I'm is, that, that is that is very cool. I Not really say. stomp, but more like or <laughs> while I'm running. Step on top of Do you it. have another character to start playing? Uh, I think I got one. Okay. I, I think he is playing his character, Princess Fluffy Bottom. You do you. I, I agree. I, I think I'm not are. stopping him. I'm just shaking my head. I think you're on point. So, uh, hit him the using dex you hit him using dexterity as your modifier. That's a three. You want to add your dex to that to make it a four? Yep, I will. Uh, you miss, slip, <laughs> fall forward. Your pantaloons are on fire. Uh, and you are on all fours trying to crawl through the flames. Okay, I'm a dragon, so I don't burn very easily, so I'm going to keep uh, uh, it's No, 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 no. Black dragon. <laughs> it don't, uh, it's a, it, some dragons, you're resistant to poison. Yeah. And not fire. No, not poison fire. Acid. <laughs> yeah. Not fire. I have to <laughs> stop uh, that prevent poison. How can you forget okay. about that? Not fire. Uh, Robert of Zeppelin, uh, you see <laughs> Princess Fluffy Bottom uh, being Princess Fluffy Bottom. Uh, th this whole thing is about to go. I'm helping Leaf up and out. Okay. I'm casting a spell. I'm, I'm casting heal. Uh, I was going to say burning hands. Are you going to heal the golem so it can uh, take on <laughs> Fluffy Bottom? <laughs> oh, it's to get it is. Because you, you didn't say, uh, you know, I'm giving you the benefit I'm, of the doubt. I'm casting healing on leaf. He will get two die eight healing effect. Leaf, he's dragging you out, giving you the loving touch. Uh, what do you want to do? Get the hell out of there. Okay. All right, leave me. That's fine. Princess leave. Fluffy Bottom, but the wood golem it back. with its limb on fire reaches out with one hand to try and grab you. I'm going to say, ah, bad touch, and crawl away faster. 22 uh, flames go up your pantaloons. Do you wear pants, honestly? I wear kind of pants. They're like cargo shorts, but longer. I think it's a thong. Your thong is on <laughs> fire with seven hit points of damage. It does not grapple you. Uh, um, round four. Leaf, did you get your 12 hit points of health back? Copious, uh, you see Agus <laughs> just everywhere. Give me an insight check to see if you know that he's blind. 16. Yeah, you're pretty sure that he's he's got some kind of visual acuity issue. Uh, and he's inching closer to a rather significant gap in the floor. Can I take the an action before he does that? Or can I call out to him? Did say stop moving? Either or. 
Hey, I would like to take an action. I want to call out to Haggis. Haggis, stop. And, and then I'm going to try to usher him to the door. Stop in the in the name of, of Haggis. Um, okay. And then I'm going to try to usher him out the door, calling to Felix to get Haggis out of here before he kills himself or shoots me. So good that I'm not over there because I'd make other comments while he's reaching out to him. Keep in mind, there is a gap for you small folks. That he's I know, that's why I, I'm, I'm trying to get him over that way without having to worry about the gap and then have Helix, Felix help him out of the, the doorway. I have ears hey, too. Wait. Could be hot and cold. That could that could work. <laughs> it's hot and cold. <laughs> um, warmer. August, do you opt to take the advice of your trusted friend and colleague? I'm copious. <laughs> um uh yeah yeah i okay. trust that you're gonna lead me to a door felix do you want to just push him down through the gap or do you want to like drag him over you can end crap if now. his bow and arrow is put down and not pointed at me i'll <laughs> extend my left hand out to him to try to help him through Haggis, uh felix is yelling put that damn arrow down Okay, I, I, I de Copious is mind. yelling, keep going, move forward. Felix, I, get him out of here. There's a lot of tumult going on, and there's dust and debris still falling. You but, hear the small gurgle of blood escaping a human body. But are we confident she's dead or she's just out of commission? You blew her head off with 30 Okay, extra I just want to make sure. There, I it's, decapitated her. Yeah, it's, it's peeled open like she got hit with a bazooka or something. Yeah, you, you know. Yeah, there is zero question. Unless she's got resurrection, she's dead. <laughs> okay. If she resurrects, I'm just leaving. I'll suffer whatever <laughs> damages. So, uh, Haggis D20, Felix D20. <laughs> Don't punt on this. Okay. Ten. Yeah. Haggis and Felix grab hands. Oh, Felix done. yanks him across. They tumble out of the building, leaving Copious behind. All over to me. I'll that help you. big no. pink scarab is just I'm on fire shining. Right now. I know. That's why. All right. <laughs> and, and shining because of the detect magic that was cast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to I'm going to carefully move my way over to grab that, trying to pay attention to the environment. And if there are any any pony casts that look like there's stuff still, I'm grabbing one of those as I head out as well. Maybe. So there is a gap between you and her that you're going to have to leap across. Okay. I will dex. dex. Oh, God. 11. Uh, you really thought you were going to boof it, but you didn't. You are over on the other side. Okay. I want to see you jump back with a cask in your arms. Well, there's a cask between me and the door. I don't have to do it on the other side of her. That's true. Also, uh, Felix, I'm blind. I can't see anything. I, <laughs> I have actually can i try something i have holy water that i bought for like 50 cents um or like one gold piece yeah here, hey, look, give me all right. holy, the, water. holy water in your eyes you, you yeah, can use just, the dollar general holy water in your <laughs> eyes <laughs> it's it's a kind of, it's a good idea if you think about sure. it you know it's inexpensive I, your this holy water is. has a little bit of a <laughs> Surrogacy smell, but it's, it's <laughs> that's exactly what's about to happen. <laughs> so, you, so you douse yourself? Um, yeah, it's yeah, like sure. a chemical wash. He's flushing his eyes out. Sure. Yeah. Being the heathen that you are, I won't inflict any punishment on you, but you're still blind. Uh, Copious, you find yourself on a narrow strip. Uh, there are bottles of wine still intact, albeit dusty. The dead corpse of the female skinhead, uh, and then there, there are five casks, pony casks, over in a different section. Do I have the scarab? Do I have the brooch? Is that is that what you want first? I want the brooch first. You got the brooch. Okay, and then I'm going to the pony casks. Okay, and I'm Le calling to Felix. 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 I found booze. <laughs> All right, now Felix will finally poke his head into this this room. Okay, I'm gonna try to throw him to you, Felix. 
<clears throat> uh, leap across. I'm going to roll a one. You know I am. At least you called out to Felix. I called out to Felix. 14. You leap across. You move carefully over. D12 against me. Ooh, 12. One. Uh, you grab a pony cask, and you just hear, hear wood splintering. Nails start to pop up out of the floor, and you can see chunk. Uh, chunks of wood starting to fall away. I'm going to cradle it like it's a newborn baby and head towards the door. <laughs> Copious V uh, Heisman. <laughs> right. Just like the Heisman, that's exactly the run. Uh, if you've ever seen the Enterprise when it gets rid of its cores, that's what it looks like only in reverse as the pony kegs drop out of the floor as the floor Single thunk, tier. thunk. Thunk. Copius is running. Uh, there is that gap. Do you want to Johnny Unitas the pony keg, or do you just want to make a leap of faith into the gap as Felix? Jim Brown time, baby. I, I'm pass me the whip. Pass me the whip. Felix, catch us. <laughs> <laughs> Jump across. Uh, D20, Copius, D20, Felix. <laughs> Hand me the idol. I give you the whip. Felix? 11. Uh, good news. You do manage to catch the leaping gnome. However, he buries that pony keg right in your groin, and you are knocked backwards as you take a severe hit. Uh, and you're going to talk in a little <laughs> bit of a high-pitched voice. Uh, but... As Copious leaps, you can see the floor cascade down and the entire building just careens into the cavernous darkness. Uh, but you are heavy, one blind halfling, one gnome, one painful pony keg, and uh, you guys are safe. As you turn around, grabbing your groin in pain, uh, through the tears streaming down your eyes, you see the building next to you on fire as Robert of Zeppelin warmly cradles Leaf the Druid. Uh, new round, uh, Princess Fluffy Bottom. What are you going to do? You are on fire. Do you want to stop, drop, and roll in here or get the hell out of Dodge? All right. So, none of the, so the fire is just, it's not a, it's not your uh, your pantaloons are burning. Your panties are on fire. Okay, my panties are on fire. Got it. Got it. Got it. I recommend seeing a physician. <laughs> got it. Got it. Run. So I will run. Make sure you get a lot of air in there. <laughs> we'll, we'll deal with the fire when you get out. You're scaled. It doesn't hurt. Remember Black Dragon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're oh, run run or, or put out the fire. <laughs> Um, I think it'd be better to run and do a lot of this to get as much air to propel myself fully. The Three more hit points of damage and you throw <laughs> yourself out. Uh, Felix, just as you thought you were having a bad day, cradling uh, the family jewels, <laughs> you see these idiots setting <laughs> fire to the other two buildings. The flames are licking it up and the whole area is kind of on a slant, so you guys are on a narrow strip of land as all three buildings careen down in, two of them on fire, into the pit below. Uh, Copious, you are the closest to the edge. You look over and, uh, wow, that is deep. <laughs> uh, all six of you are, uh, in quotation marks, safe. I'm gonna begin to stomp out Robert, or, uh... <laughs> Princess Fluffy. No, 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 no. I got this. I'm going to stop no, now. Stop. No. It's not. Stop. 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 <laughs> no. I'm fine. Please. Princess Fluffy Bottom, he puts you out, giving you two bludgeoning damage in the process. Ow. Now, no. Hey, hey. With no. pain. Come you should have put him out like a jellyfish thing, you know. All right. So. Yeah, you should have peed on him. No. Yeah. No, if you did, I would have punched oh. you in you the know what? Now I remember. Now I'm casting on you, there, Fluffy Bottoms. I got to roll die four with you. Oh, that's right. That. Okay, Three. we're good. 
Eight points of hit of life back to you there. Eight points? Dingus, yes. All right, that's not enough. So, Felix, you crawl to your feet, <laughs> wincing in pain. Haggis. Oh, I can, I can see dark shapes. Uh, and you scream, Felix, don't do that. We're in public. Uh, Copius, you get yourself up. <laughs> oh, that was easy. <laughs> and, I have, and I have this pretty brooch, right? You put it in your pocket. Do you want to bring it out? Oh, okay. Uh, do you have dark? Do you have dark vision? I just can't wait. Yes. And you notice no difference. I just thought it was pretty. It's like a, that lavender purplish color. I, it yeah, goes with my outfit. It's it it, it is a do we, it is stylish. Like we need to go back. I mean, that is a rock and stylish looking uh, brooch or cloak clasp. I, and I'm sure it will get noticed. By a lot so, of so all six of you are on this narrow kind of isthmus looking piece of land. The chasm is on both sides. Uh, all three buildings here, uh, not the wall, but all three buildings have whoop, gone into the crevasse. Uh, so now you're kind of happy. Oh, happy. by the way, none of you grabbed the saw. <laughs> no, hell no. So no, the saw is gone. I, I couldn't see us dragging an eight foot saw out of a burning building with a golem chasing us. The other good news is uh, everybody hears a boom. Can anybody tell me why? Uh, fire. Or the uh, things hitting the ground. The flaming wreckage found the pony kegs. I was going with the alcohol. Yeah. That was that was my whole plan, Hoggis. I said, get me out of here because we're going to set fire to this building and drop the whole thing. Do we feel the need yeah. at this point to head back to the monastery? We don't have what we need yet. Well, are we feeling a better connection now that we made? What the hell we were coming here after? I'm here for a jewel. Yeah, this this is not a jewel. This is a a brooch or an amulet. Okay, okay. So is there any other buildings here? There's just a wall at this point? At this point in time, you guys are on the narrow isthmus. There's a crevasse, which used to be the inner courtyard, uh, but the curtain wall that surrounded the fortress is still intact. Hacked, uh, and runs up and over the crevasse uh, with a narrow strip of land underneath it, except for at least one area that you can see. So in other words, we can use the wall, curtain wall. It acts as a stone bridge to get across the crevasse to the main part of that the is, tower. That is we, correct. We haven't even gone into the tower yet. We need to go to the tower. Let's go. Yeah, that's... But, before we cross the crevasse, do we want to tie ourselves with the rope in case one of us slips off that narrow stretch? Because I'm Let's tie the rope to the shale. Oh, okay. Copious can be the anchor. Let's tie all the rope to all the shale. Yeah. So first off, uh, Buttercup and the other mounts have been watching this debacle from the safety of the plateau. <laughs> it now has a new friend in the form of a mountain goat. Uh, not it's, a over. Goat. it's a common goat. Yeah, but you guys can get the uh, what's the one where you shout at and it falls over? Oh, those ones that start over <laughs> play dead goats. Play yeah, dead goats yeah, that, that, that's what it is. So you I can yell at it? get back up to the platform, jump down onto the curtain wall, walk with relative safety for most of the long leg. Okay. The back curtain wall is where you're going to have the most problem because there's a point where the chasm uh, bisects the land. So there is a leap of faith, probably Gandalf in a ball run. You aren't really sure. Man, if only we had like some wood or something we could have built a bridge with. <laughs> if only you had a magical saw that you could have cut down a tree with that could span that. I know. <laughs> so uh, it's up to you guys how you want to proceed. So we're looking for a turn into a leaf can turn into something that flies, you know. And you I can get there. A leaf can turn into a whale and lay <laughs> across the castle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we would have been there. That, that, was, that, was, idea. that was a good idea. That don't even well, like make fun. That was a good idea. A like dumbass a idea. <laughs> Oh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a little bit wider than that. 
Uh, See, that's why I said a whale, and we would have been able to cross. All right. as, as, as you guys follow this wall, you can walk two abreast. Uh, the stone crenulins, you know, where you peek out and shoot at arrows, right. are still mostly intact. They've, they've suffered some damage. There's some fragmenting. But as you walk down the long leg, walk across the backside, uh, this is going to be a leap even for the humans. Okay. In other words, the two short ones are going to have trouble. Well, uh, I mean, the ones with dexterity are probably. Don't worry, we'll throw you across. <laughs> why don't I jump across with ropes? We'll leave the ropes. You take one end of them. Let me jump across, and we'll secure them. And well, if we got know, two ropes. We've got two. I've got one. All right, I had a rope. We have that spider set rope. It's lightweight. There's like 80 feet of it, and then there's a 20 yeah. foot section of it. We just got to find two spots to be able to tie the rope off to. <laughs> the, giant map of sails. <laughs> the stone crenulins would suffice in that manner. We can use the crenulations to tie them off. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we tie well, one up right. high and one at their feet so you can do the uh, military crossing. I was always thinking of that. Works for me. Those are the crenulations. Yep. Now we're good. So uh, it's about six feet. So who is going to be my Jesse Owens? Leaf the Druid? Sure, go ahead and give me the dexterity. Uh, I will tie a rope to him, and then myself, Manfang, and Felix will hold on to the other end in case he goes down. Sure. Wham! <laughs> well, and if we try hard enough, we might be able to swing, swing him back up. Get a nice Just remember to rake the rope over the fractured stone as you do. Does anybody know what jump is? What's a dexterity? Is, is it acrobatics? To jump, you kind of got to give you acrobatics. acrobatics. To jump, you just kind of got to squat and then uh, kind of move. That's a 19. Uh, he makes it. Uh, there's other, a, other there, time ropes. He, uh, he, he's kind of studying himself, but he makes it. Uh, you've got enough slack. You can uh, give me a give me a survival check to see if you can pick out which crenellation seems to be the best. Twenty five. Yeah, this one looks pretty good. Okay. So you tie one rope or both? Because well, you're holding. Two. Okay, you're holding one rope. There's a rope around your waist. I'll we'll tie one one tight, and the other one slack. Okay. Everybody, perception check. Natural 20. Seven. Six. 18. 21. I don't know. Which, which, the, the, well, nat 20, the nat 20. 11 for Manfanger. 20 and above here. Spiders. <laughs> Spider <laughs> ball rocks. Uh, Leaf, you tie one taut, one loose. Who's tying the other on this side? Not me. I don't have skills like that. Felix, survival check. Let's make sure you pick the Felix right one. Felix knows not. <laughs> Tie it like the pink house. Oh, well, this should be tight then. No, that, that's not good. It's definitely like the pink house. It's very loose. It's a four. He is certain that the crenellation that he has tied it to is feasible enough to support the weight of everybody. <laughs> okay, so we should have Copious go first then, since he's so. I think we should have the heaviest party member go first. That way we only lose one. That's true. Um, and start over. Okay. <laughs> yeah. How much do I weigh? I don't know. Would a half work weigh more than a dragon, no. or a dragon more than a half work? Or I, I, I think I don't forget about that. the rope goes first. It's just as my size is medium. My that weight. is true. Go, Felix. Me? Sure. Yeah, you let's said it. it. You said it was good. We're going to have fun. Sure. Uh, now, one is taunt, one is loose. So you can put your feet on the loose one and hand over hand on the tight one. Okay? Give me your acrobatics check. You know, this oh, is yeah. similar to Felix at the pink house still. One is tight and one yeah, is loose. Felix, <laughs> Felix, <laughs> 23. 
It's only six feet. You can always jump the damn thing. Size me. Piece of cake. You start to walk across. Just as you get to the other side, Beef extends his hand to grab you. Crenellation on the far side. Both swing. Uh, Leaf grabs you, yanks you up. Now the rope is attached to the crenellation on Leaf's side and dangling straight down. Back to a rock, throw it back over here. So both of them came up. Were they both tied to the same one or are they tied to separate? Same, same, or, same or both, Felix. Okay, okay, so we need to pull the ropes up, throw them back over so a real man can tie them. Uh, Leaf and Felix, give me some strength checks to haul that rope up because you got a hunk of stone on there. We not this probably my strong suit. <laughs> Four. Oh, 18. Uh, Leaf, you're doing your job. Uh, Felix, however, Mr. Pasty. Hey, there, mister. I, I just got hit in the gonad, so I'm still I kind of. I just got hit in the gonad, gonad, so I'm still recovering from that, I'll have you know. He sounds Mickey like Mickey Mouse. Mouse. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. Oh. Uh, try it again, Before, Felix. Like, many, many Mouse here. Felix may have suffered a hernia. Uh, 15. Uh, b- biting back the pain, he lifts it. Uh, and just as you get it up to the top, the damn stone falls out of the loop. <laughs> <laughs> then it's really light. Everybody else is on the other side. I call them up and, and toss them back over. Who's going to catch them? I'll catch. I'm really good at catching. Be somebody with some decks, I'm thinking, with some acrobatic <laughs> skills. I got acrobatics. I skills. have acrobatics for days. If you want to, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'll roll them, call them up, and throw them over. That decks on both sides. Acrobatics. That's you, Haggis. Okay, go. I was wondering. 18. 26. He's Acrobatics. He, <laughs> he snatches it out of midair. Uh, Hagas, are you going to tie it off on a crenellation? You know, I, is it survival? Yep. Uh, sure, I'll, I'll, give, I'll try it and tie it. Um, 17. Uh, yeah, you're pretty confident. I, I'm going to do a check after the last one. I'm checking myself. Survival check. Hell yeah, it looks like it's good. Okay. Yeah, am I, should, I, should I go over? Should, should I, <laughs> I saw it and I was like, all right. He who ties it goes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Haggis, go ahead and roll a, a deck or a acrobatics to cross. I'm so happy you said acrobatics. 22. It's 11. He dances. So he just, dances I, across. He moonwalks across the road. Yeah. Who's next? I go. I like to do that. Yeah, make uh, Copious is going next, I guess. I have surprise. Yeah, Copious, I'll throw you across. We'll make it. <laughs> Cop- like a Copious shot is across. Like 13. Uh, Copious, as you get across, uh, underneath the embankment, you see the creepy crawlies coming up. Are they the, the drider looking things like we fought before? Fires? These are the ones that you fought the first time. The, uh, the giant the spiders, of Loth, or the, all no, the, no, no. the very the very first one, oh, okay. the easy giant ones. Spider. But it looks like a horde is coming, and it looks like it's coming on Robert and Princess Fluffy Bottoms. Side. Yeah, go, Princess Fluffy Bottoms. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going. I'm going. What do I roll? Maybe the black acrobatics. Dragon acrobatics. Maybe it's fire resistance. Oh, you <laughs> just twenty one. Yeah, he's twenty one. Hey. Apparently he has arachnophobia. Robert, you are the last one. You see the spiders bridging up from every direction here. I'm going. They're so going to eat the mounts. <laughs> Don't say 20, that. Yeah, I'm over. You can do like Indiana Jones. You can do the swing with like the last hey, one. How far away are the spiders from us? They're on the other side of the gap. On the other side of the gap, but how far away down that way? Yeah, well, I, don't, I don't know. 12 Is this feet. wall such a thing that if part of the wall on that side disappears, we'll still be able to get back to the mountains? Hmm? No. <laughs> okay, never mind. Um, Come on, guys, let's run. Yeah, leave the ropes attached. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
Um, uh, are we sure we want to leave the ropes attached? How are we going to get them uh, unattached from the other crenellation? Well, right? Somebody just has what. to make a jump back. I will. Oh. Want, I'll go across, unhook the ropes, and jump back. They're giant spiders. Across the There's spider giant spiders, spiders over there. You need one of those eight archers to shoot ah. the rope from oh. here. Oh, hold, hold, just, hold it! Hold it! from this side and just drop them down into the chat. There yes. you go. Uh, as, you, as you do side. so, the giant spiders melt the ropes and fall into the chasm below as you let it loose. Okay. Now, you'll just have to jump across successfully and then throw the ropes back. I have uh, to <laughs> It is also getting very, very late. And you guys didn't sleep very well. So you find yourself on a feasible strip of wall. Do you want to camp here or trudge forward, maybe leading to exhaustion? I would like to take a pile. I would like to take a handful of rocks, and I would like to test the, the edges of this or landing pad for rocks at the edges to make sure it's stable. Oh, he's definitely man thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they don't have to be big rocks. They just have to be rocks. Not you know pips, what? Rocks. Uh, just, just for shits and giggles. How about you roll a d twenty? Just straight up d twenty. It's a four. Oh yeah. Uh, one of the rocks you Magus, throw catch. kind of chips off the side of the passage that you're looking on, and a small crack develops across the path. Perfect. I'm going to look at Man Fang and say, will you stop doing that? <laughs> oh, what were they doing? I just throw rocks, man. It's getting boring. This is the black dragon, you know. It's fire resistance. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you are on the far side. You're headed towards what would be a corner piece of the wall. It's it's out a little bit more. Uh, there is ground underneath you. Piece, uh, you go into the corner piece. It is enlarged. It looks like it has uh, some kind of bolts in it. Uh, possibly would have held a ballista at one time. There is no ballista here anymore. You look over the side. It is on land that you know of. Uh, so it appears to be stable. Would you uh, like to rest? Here, guys. Let me check if it's safe. No. <laughs> I, I vote we rest. <laughs> I, I want to rest. recover spells and hit points if we can because yeah. we had the snot kicked out of us for this first day. In Let's town. take, uh, yeah. I'll take a watch. I'll take watch. First watch. Unwatch Haggis? Yeah. Watch two? Uh, I can take, Copius can take one of them, but I think we, someone needs to take a watch with uh, Haggis. Haggis can't see in the dark. Well, it, I. All right, I'll take first watch with Haggis. I'm going to go to either side of us and start up a bonfire or a campfire. Sure. So that way we're we're lit it we're 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 lit it up on either side. Sure. No, nothing says free meal like a bonfire. That's yeah. Uh, but we also ward them away because ah, fire bad. Who's taking uh, third watch? I don't see in the dark. I'm too well, in the dark. Robert. Robert, if anyone could is. help me see in the dark, that'd it, be great. You know, I'm take with you. Leaf is. Could help me see in the dark. Haggis. I can light you a bonfire, Haggis. You can always see fine. Uh, Haggis, Leaf, uh, as the others nestle by the roaring campfire, uh, <laughs> you hear something. Give me a Wait. perception check to see if you notice where it's coming from. It's uh, time for second breakfast on Hilltop. 16. What does it sound like? Uh, Leaf, what was yours? 24. Uh, you both correctly deduced it is coming on the far side of the wall, and then this swarm of bats fills the night sky, and you notice they're carrying spiders. They flutter over you, how big are these damn bats? They're big bats. Are these European bats or African? Uh, they're African bats. They can hold <laughs> almost 11 ounces. Uh, really? The bats fly off uh, to what you think is north 
But what uh, if it was good and carrying But they do not the they do well, not drop the spider armada. Grabbing it by the spider husk. Yeah, the thorax. <laughs> okay. Now number two, copious. I don't want any spider paratroopers. They're just you bombing us. Also no. see the same thing, only the bats come north to okay. south without spiders. This like this. You should balance it out. Now no, this one's like this. They're going after dinner. Second right. breakfast. Is stopped right here. Third, Robert, uh, nothing happens. You tend the fire, warm yourself, pee off the edge of this uh, old corpus creep. Or, yeah, corpus keep. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, next, copious, what? Dawn. <laughs> As, as you know it, because you are deep in this chasm, uh, you can see the light filtering above. Oh, 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 I feel refreshed. Uh, you can go around, wake everybody up. Uh, there's still very little light until high noon down in this chasm. It's, it's going to be shadowy and dark, uh, but you've made it through the night for day four. How many days did it take for you guys to get here? Three. So that's Two days seven. Many. Seven days. Okay. Uh, so uh, the wall continues back. Uh, but again, there is another gap here. How big? It's easier, but not by much. Maybe five feet this time. But you said we were on land now? You are land. Uh, the mountain encompasses this entire sidewall. So you have the fortification here and then the yeah. mountain along here. On this side, uh, chasm. But where there's a gap in the wall, can we not go down and back up? No, there's. Uh, it's just a gap, but you can climb on the mountain and go across or make the leap both has inherent hazards both has inherent advantages dexterity to leap and strength to climb or is that acrobatics acrobatics to leap strength to hang on oh, uh, for their life. yeah i have to i have to try to jump i can't i can't afford to come on <clears throat> Leaf makes it across. Whew. Whew. 16. I, I, you make I it across. Grab people as they come across. Sure. I'm going to jump across because I'm good at jumping. Let's see how I do. Hopefully, I don't die. Mm, that's not great. Ooh. Add your plus four. Mm, it's 12. Uh, 12. 12. <laughs> you barely make it. Yay. Apparently, that's how I do everything, just barely. Uh, I rolled a 10. I'm going to have Man Fang help me anchor as I grab okay. And I only got 10 because I have a plus five uh, acrobatic. <laughs> Robert smacks his face on the fractured stone, and he's starting to drop. Big, star, big gash in his face now? Narcotic damage? Not yet. Copious leaf and Princess Fluffy Bottoms, who, roll initiative, is fast enough to reach out and grab Robert of Zeppelin's arm. I got you, friend. <laughs> 22. Character roll. Do we have a bonus on that? Oops. I got an 18. Initiative only. Okay, so, 18, 19 with my initiative. Princess Fluffy Bottom? Uh, here. <clears throat> no, he rolled an 11. Uh, Copius is first to leap out and throw out his hand, followed quickly by Leaf. Robert of Zeppelin, uh, dexterity, your choice, because they were fairly close. Who do you want to try and reach out for? Uh, it's a 17 on my dexterity to reach out for Leaf. Uh, you connect Leaf strength check. Oh, 20. He's got you. I'll help. They drag you up. Uh, strong hand. 
<laughs> Three hit points as you fractured your nose. Damn it! I just got hit points back. <laughs> Felix yeah, or Hoggis? Who we got left? Felix and Hoggis? I rolled right. a nine. Oh, yeah. This is going to go bad. Uh, you see his arm reach, but miss. Uh, copious leaf. Uh, Robert, you're going to be out. Princess Fluffy Bottom, you were helping. Copious and leaf uh, initiative. I'm just going to roll. Oh, not this time. 10. Leaf? 17. Felix, initiative. Eleven. Uh, Copious is not going to get there in time. Leaf will uh, hit him uh, at minus two. Minus two. C uh, Felix has to grab your hand at minus two. Grab my hand. Get to the chopper. Do the chopper. Uh, my strength. Well, dex, both of you dexterity. Oh, dexterity? That's still a dirty 20. Felix? Uh, 14. Uh, you catch him. But and do I hold on? Uh, Fl Fluffy Bottom, are you going to help drag Leaf and drag Felix up? Yes, I will. What do I have to roll? Uh, but you'll be fine. Felix, you take five hit points as you now have a cleft chin. So, Damn Kirk, it. Kirk Douglas, uh, Haggis, eh, last two guys haven't done so hot. My acrobatics, though. Or acrobatics. Acrobatics. Come on. Strong uh, 21. Oh, easily. Uh, you actually dogpile onto the top of Felix and roll off of him. So, everybody is on the other side of this gap. Uh, you move, uh, you can hear strange noises from above, possibly bird, avian life. You aren't really sure. Maybe the bats. Yeah, possibly, I don't know, bat, spider eating creatures. Uh, I'm sorry? How far to the tower? Uh, it's at the far end. So as you move forward, <clears throat> it looks like you can drop down into what is left of the inner courtyard. There's an old wooden structure down there covered in thatch that might break your fall. Great, or, you can, or you can continue along the curtain wall where a bank of windows fractured uh, are ahead. I think I'd rather continue along the curtain wall myself, seeing how we don't have any rope. Guys, what do you want to do? Curtain wall's fine by me. Yeah, I'm proud of that. I wonder what's in the cabin. Uh, <laughs> oh, here, you want me to set it on fire so you can see? <laughs> That'd be useful. We could see inside. Yeah, that, that would be useful. Uh, so you continue on towards the fractured windows. Uh, yes. I'm, I'm getting there. Are you, though? I am. Uh, you Shut get to these back. windows, and there are three stained glass windows. They've all been fractured, but the glass is kind of intact. So it's not going to take much effort to go ahead and smash them out if you want to smash them out. Who is the first one to get bike. there? Not copious. I will, I guess. If you, <laughs> as you look in, give me a investigation check. Eight. Uh, the glass is too thick. You can't tell what's on the other side of the wall. Oh, I'll yell back to you guys. The glass is too thick. I can't tell what's on the other side of the wall. Break the hey, door. everybody! <laughs> Why don't you ring the damn doorbell? <laughs> hey, you guys. You want me to shatter the glass for you? Yeah. Well, I'm going to push up with a window open. Is it a type of window that will open? Uh, it no, it, it's you're gonna have to smash out the glass. Okay. So, are there any loose debris around that I could use a rock? You can use no, a rock. You got haggis. You can always throw haggis through it. I but you got great acrobatics. 
Yeah, I, yeah. I land on it. Do a backflip through it. Yeah. All right. So, so you're going to use your axe, Leaf? Yes, I am. Uh, tattered opulence is the easiest way to describe this chamber. The enormous room is home to a broken mahogany bed and matching armoire. Formerly expensive furniture sits in various states of decay, and a large woven rug adorns a flagstone floor. The chamber was clearly a bedroom and probably the master of the fortress. Do you want to leap into the bedroom? You guys I'm going to carefully climb into the bedroom. <laughs> he said leap. As yeah, you... I know what he said, but as you carefully climb down here, you have the big flagstone floor. A uh, formerly opulent rug adorns the center of it. Broken furniture in various states of distress are in various spots. And the actual mountain has come in on the right side, wedging this section uh, against the mountain. Ergo, that's why it didn't go all the way down to the bottom of the chasm. Uh, there's a lot of debris in here, and give me a perception check. Oh, that's uh, 27. There's noise. Said, give me one. To your right. Well, I will look to my right to see what it is. Uh, from your vision outside, you can tell to the right was a tower. So the front tower abutting the fortress is in that location. Uh, as you do, skinhead number two comes out reading a book. Oh, hello. Uh, Leaf initiative. But this one actually spoke instead of just shooting somebody right off the bat. Yep. 17. She didn't shoot. She threw a bottle. Well, uh, it's a male. Last word. Hello. Uh, Leaf, it's up to you. He's going to whistle at them. Okay. Whistle while he works. Awkward silence. And this would all be fun. I just want to cast Guiding Bolt as soon as I find it. Shoot first, ask questions second. Damn right. <laughs> well, she threatened him. She said hello. He. 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 I think we assume their gender. You know, it's I just like those like sailors you murdered. <laughs> we didn't like I did not murder anybody. anybody. I don't like them now. No sense of playing games. I came to Felix's defense. There it is. Okay. Oh, Just set the place on fire and let's keep moving. No, there's eh, no. You don't want to set this place on fire. You aren't right. through it yet. Okay. Um, I'm trying to see what. <laughs> Uh, I don't see. I don't see a thing for you. I can see. Oh, it's, it's range twelve attack. Okay, so I got to roll to attack, right? Yep. That's an eighteen. That is exactly what you need to hit this guy. All right, let me get my hobo oh, okay. dice out now. That is. He's done it, haven't you? Two six die six. Ooh, that's 11, and 4 is 15, and 3 is 18. And two more hobos. <laughs> and 11 is 29. Uh, give me a wisdom save. Yep, give me a wisdom save, please. All right. That is a 19. Uh, a blinding ray heads back towards you but misses you. Uh, he casts spirit guardians on you. You, much like Felix earlier, are surrounded by uh, 
fiend activity. Uh, give me your... Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, bear with me. I thought I had it up here. Uh, da, 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 da. Another wisdom save, please. That's a 19. Mm -hmm. Uh, the spirit guardians whisk out past you. Uh, new round. Who's behind Leaf? Anybody? Any takers? Anybody? Uh, Copious probably. <clears throat> Robert probably came next if we were following the order when we jumped across the chasm. Which yep. one? Who wants to go in? I'll go in. He helped me up. I'll go in after. Uh, Robert, initiative. 21. Uh, you leap in and you see Leaf engaged with uh, Shithead, uh, Skinhead, sorry, uh, over to the right, but then you hear a bag of goodies over to the left, and it's another Skinhead. Uh, which one do you want to go after? I've got money. One to the back. Money, probably. I will go with the one that just surprised me. Okay. He is across the room. Uh, what do you want to do? Let's Eighteen plus three, twenty-one. Is that wild magic? Oh, wild magic! Very good, Frankie. <laughs> I'm glad one of us is remembering. <laughs> yeah, Fluffy Bottom's on top of it. He wants to see uh, havoc. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Chaos. Somebody else having chaos other than 31. Yeah. I'm sorry, 31 or 21? 31. We almost maxed that bad boy out. Six points shy. Very nice. Uh, Leaf, you're up. And same one or new one? Same one. All okay. right. Just checking. Yep. I ain't none from. Hi, buddy. How you doing, Booper? I'm trying to stay away from everything that says thunder this or thunder that. <laughs> yeah. Why? You know why? I don't know. No clue why. It's thunderclap. Everything will be fine. We're going to go to Grandpa's later. Okay. We'll go see Grandpa. All right. Yeah, Booper. Just takes me a minute to figure out Does the wall behind him go into the mountain? You do not know. Okay. But yeah, that's yeah. where he appeared, so you assume probably not. I want some love from you. So what you going to do? How far away is he? Uh, he is closing ranks quickly, so he's about uh, 20 or less. Okay, I'm going to attack him. Okay. That's uh, 18 on the first one. Wait a minute, I got plus four. 22 on the first one. Yep, you got him. And 19 on the second one. You got him. Uh, seven one's eight. And five, one, six, five, 14. Nice. Uh, they are going to close ranks and try and beat the shit out of you. Right on. Uh, first one is on leaf. Uh, Warhammer for a dirty 20. Ow. I think that is. Well, I use a Warhammer. Oh, 22 to Robert. Here is where the pain begins. Ugh. Ouch. <laughs> where are my murder hobo dice? Just, yeah, just let you know, if you die, I got you. 
tanks. I'll heal you. Oh, boy. That is going to hurt. Uh, six plus two, eight bludgeoning damage for both of you. And then 15 radiant damage as just flames kick off this thing. Blue flames kick off their uh, war hammers. Uh, Copius, you are in next roll initiative. So I need to add another 15 points of radiant damage. Mm-hmm. Hang on a minute. I got a thing. If I can find it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm 13. Yeah, you, you took yeah, eight. Slow with this. 13. Yeah. 49. Now I have 23. <laughs> I have a rebuke thing, I think, here. Okay. Reaction attack. Yeah. And man fang roll initiative as well, since you're gotcha. piling in. Gotcha. I just can't find it, Jason. That's a that's a that's a dirty seven. So you you and Copius will attack next round after they do. Okay. Oh, uh, I, I forgot. Okay. Robert, give me a wisdom now, save, please. Now if we're oh. inside, so. This thing it creates uh, lightning or thunder damage, so lightning damage on the inside, yes? Mm-hmm. 18. Okay. You are not blinded either by the uh, blinding rebuke, so you're safe. Um, when he hit me, then I have, he has to make a dex save. Uh, 14 plus 2, 16. Does that have to be next to my what? It's your spell DC. My spell DC is 16. Safe. The lightning bolt shatters. much damage then. Yep. And the lightning bolt shatters the floor. And that's seven. Wait. Can you repeat that last eight. part? You heard me. <laughs> that's 15 points. So he takes half of it. So he takes uh, round down seven. Uh, yes, Scopius, you heard that correctly. The floor has been sundered. How nice. Isn't that the only thing keeping us up right now? Uh, you don't know. You just piled on in. Uh, new round top of the order, Robert and Leaf. Uh, what's, uh, what's my di- – is am I still a distance from the guy that I attacked? Nope, he's closed. He closed in, right? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm just I'm attacking. It's hand to hand combat, boys. Pow pow. What does it take to hit? Eighteen on the head. All right, no, we're good. So that's like twenty five. Nope. Okay, double hit. No, die eight. Eight. Thirteen. 23. Yeah, nice. Doing it, doing it, doing it well. Uh, Leaf? Uh, 18 on the first one. Well, plus four is 22. And 22. On the second. Straight up. Uh, five and one, six. And six and one, seven. Uh, 13 wow. points. He is not looking good, but both of you need to make the blinding rebuke wisdom save. That is a 25. 12. Uh, nope, you're blind. Oh, wait, that's not 25, it's 23. I'm sorry. Two rounds, Robert. You are blinded. Uh, good news is you've got help coming through the door. I'm going to go ahead and. Odd even. Uh, on Robert, even. Uh, on Leaf, odd. Uh, Leaf, I'm going to hit you. And odd, copious, even, Princess Fluffy Bottom. Three, copious, deck save as a web comes at you again. <laughs> Natural 20. Nice. Uh, you've been down this road before. Been down this road. Leaf, that warhammer comes flying and misses with a three. 
Uh, Copious, you are ahead of Princess Fluffy Bottom. Go ahead. So, Copious, you're up. So uh, there is one on Robert. There is one on Leaf. Whichever one is in worse condition is who I'm shooting at first. And I'm going Percep to perception check. Uh, Twelve. Uh, Roberts is in worse right. shape. Right. I'm going to blast the one that's on Robert first to see if we can knock one off as quick as possible. Two Eldritch blasts. Uh, what was the magic number? Eighteen. I hit with one blast. The other number missed. And that was for seven points of damage. Nice. He's, he's, he's hurting. He's hurting. Uh, Fluffy Bottom, where'd he go? I'm here. Go ahead. You're up. I'm here. Um, who are you attacking? Okay. Who looks the most in danger? We just did the perception it. check. Huh? Roll perception. Oh, okay. Let's see if you can tell. Plus four. That's a natural 20. Oh, yeah. Roberts is in deep shit trouble. All right. I'll go help him. Okay. I wasted it. I I wasted a nat twenty on that. That's okay. Roll, roll your attack. You right, did cool. indeed. <laughs> what is it? That is. Oh, copious. Uh, give me a wisdom save, please. That's an eighteen. Your hit is slow again. Eighteen. So they said he rolled a natural twenty. Sixteen. A month ago, that wouldn't happen. You're safe. It's eighteen to hit, so you're good. Okay. Roll your damage. Okay. Die twelve twice. Big number. Big number. I 12. What is it? That's 12. 12. Rolled again. That's an 8. 8, 12, 20, plus 20. 10, 30 points. Yeah. Down he goes. Felix, Haggis, initiative rolls, please, as you leap in. I, I actually do good. I do a lot of yeah, No, that's why you need to close ranks in combat. You are deadly if you hit. Haggis? If I hit well. 18. Uh, good news. Uh, okay. Uh, Felix and Haggis, as you come in, uh, you notice Princess Fluffy Bottom cuts down one of these damn skinheads. There's only one left. Uh, starting with Robert, uh, your skinhead is down. You're going to have to move and attack Leafs or search the body. I'm blind for another round, so I'm going to heal myself. Let's roll magic. You're going to touch yourself? You've rolled two. Wild magic time. it is. <laughs> You've blinded yourself again. 22 is the magical number. It'd be funny if you blinded yourself again. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> a... You can uh, teleport up to 60 feet into an unoccupied space you can see. <laughs> 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 wah, wah. <laughs> that's so unfortunate. Uh Point in a random direction. And go so around. I don't get my healing magic? Uh, you'll get your healing magic. That's just the wild spur that comes with that it. Is, yes, that, that is the uh, desperation coming through. Uh, 18, Haggis, you go before Leaf. Leaf uh, still has somebody on him. Come on, Haggis, knock him down. Uh, 15? Uh, no. Swing and a miss. Leaf, you're up. 18, 22 on that one. That hits. Missed with that one. Back to uh, within three again. Mm -hmm. Nine points. <laughs> that hurts. Uh, give me your blinding rebuke. Wisdom save. Uh, spot 17, 22. You're good. Uh, uh, Felix is coming up. Uh, Copious, who are you going after? Leaves um, or the other one? I had attacked the other one, the one on Robert last turn. So, uh, Odd Leaf, even Huggis. Odd Leaf, uh, he's going to Warhammer the shit out of you again if he can. 15 plus 419. It's me. Uh, here, comes the, the here comes the pain train, boys and girls. I'm going to use all my pretty dice. That'll hurt. Eight, three, three, one, a seven radiant damage. Eight plus two bludgeoning damage as the Warhammer hits you in the chin with an uppercut. 
Uh, Felix and Copius, you guys are up. Uh, 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 Rebuke, that's right. That's it, put another hole in the floor. 19 on the die. All right. Lucky die. Lucky die. Two Eldritch Blasts die. heading at uh, the creature on Leaf. And I hit with one. He's not looking so hot. Eight Ooh. points. Still up. About me or him? <laughs> uh, Felix, uh, this guy's on his last leg. Can you put him down? Does, does uh, he have a rebuke yeah. against Copious, though? Yes, he does. I think I'm going to jump in, and I'm close enough that I can do melee combat, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, double short swords attack. Do I get a sneak attack bonus? Yeah, he didn't see you coming. Oh, yeah. Then I hit him with both swords, uh, 18 and 19 before modifiers, mm -hmm. for 25 hit points. Yeah, he's, he's down. Uh, what was your roll, Copious? 18. You're fine. Uh, Robert of Zeppelin, I believe you are now sighted again. Uh, as you look around, there are two dead bodies, one bag of jingly loot, and a book. I guess I'll look uh, through the loot. Everybody roll initiative to see who gets to what first. 17. 14. 18. 15. I'm casting Detect Magic before I do anything. Who had the 17, Robert or Princess Fluffy Bottom? I rolled a 14. I had 18. So I got two 18s and a 17, correct, Hoggins? Uh, there are three things of value in here. Did he have glow and blue? Uh, well, is that what you're going to do on your turn? Because if you do, that drops you down. Because that bag of loot's right next is well, it's not next to me. It's close to me because it's right over where that guy was. Right. So, Leaf, are you casting detect? I'm gonna cast detect magic. I'm not okay. really concerned about the loot. Loot. I want to see what's in the room. Room. So that drops us to Robert, Hagas, and Felix can get to the items in question. Uh, Robert, you're going for the bag. Yeah. Felix. A matching pink amulet is on this guy. Uh, Haggis, a matching pink amulet is on this guy. Do you want to touch it? Guys, anything we, else? Look, we can be like we're in the same club. Anything else? Well, it was a Nazi, so maybe if you we know we're going to look at that symbol. Never thought I heard that. Hear that? Yes, Haggis, <laughs> you have been inducted into the white supremacist gang. Hey, uh, look, guys, you, I'm one of you. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm here to help. Hey, I a screw good the halflings. Because remember, halflings. Felix was okay. Leaf was a servant. <laughs> the rest and of us hated us. Into... Into... Yeah. That's right. Um, is, is it just the amulet on him, or is anything... Uh, I feel around him, up and down. Uh, each one of them has traffic. Uh, Felix, you got the higher roll, so you find two potions. Hagas finds one potion, and I'm sorry, I forgot the book, and that goes to 14. Man Fang. <laughs> <laughs> I like to weed. Weeding is fun. Where's the picture? I got no. The book is not glowing. The okay. amulets and the potions are. Robert, you went after the bag. There is 350 gold pieces worth of gold and silver trinkets. I um, know. I can't Candlestick holders, shit like that. I got to do. You Man. can't refuse. I got to. Like Is there anything else in this room glowing? Looking no. Around. No. Uh, what's your range on that 60? I think it is. I didn't look it up. D12 against me. Uh, detect magic is 30 feet. Oh, 30? Uh, yeah, no, that's it. Yeah, no. That those are the I, only things I'm doing some healing on myself. A lot of healing on myself. 
touch yourself. Touch yourself uh, like a so champ. Felix, two potions. Fagas, one potion. Why don't you taste those and see what they are? Each of you have an amulet, I, just uh, like copious. You, you said if I touch it. Okay, I, I touched the amulet. You touched the amulet? What? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's... Uh, <laughs> It's an amulet. It's very the the gemstone. The pink gemstone is very smooth. The uh, spider is a little rough, but okay, nothing well, bad happens. Okay. Well, uh, I don't have night vision, so do, do you we... do now? You have it up to sixty feet as you touch this amulet, as does Felix. Sweet. Can I can I touch that amulet? I want to identify it. You'll well, have to have walk line. back to him. Can I touch somebody's amulet? It looks I, I might be able to identify it. Didn't properly. you just say it was an amulet? Is yeah, the you amulet. touch somebody's Anal amulet? Amulet. I want to. I want to. I want to touch that amulet. <laughs> hey, you're not, <laughs> not touching anything, Robert. <laughs> you're gonna like somebody let me touch their amulet. <laughs> so I can tell you what all it does. Hey, I'm Robert, amulet. Robert. Yeah. You need to talk to Felix. I have identi I can cast identify on it. Well, well, an amulet Copious, check, will, brother. Copious will take his amulet off and hand it to Robert so he can and identify it, assuming that it looks like the other two that were just found. Looks exactly like the other yeah. All right. Well then I'm going to cast it. Is take that ten pot. minutes? What's that? Is that a ten minute or an immediate? Uh casting time is one minute. Uh, it appears to be a holy symbol that allows the bear to have dark vision up to 60 feet. That's it. Holy symbol of what, Robert? Loth. Sweet. Spider Queen. I was hoping it would give me Spider Walk or something, but that's okay. It's still pretty. <laughs> I was wondering. This one does not give Spider Walk. That's all I'm going to say. This one. I'm counting on that one. I'm finding another one. I um, want a matching set. The book does not glow. Like a general. But it is a voluminous text. Uh, and Robert, you got the trinkets. Um, can I open my book and look at it? What is it? What is the book? Or is it, it not coming? It is a history book. It is a rather dry read on Corpus Keep. However, uh, in the margins at the end are hand scrawled notes. Do they say who they're from, or are they just notes, nothing else? It does not have a signature. Okay. Read it. Can I look anywhere in the book? Is there like a signature, like an author? <laughs> who wrote the book? Can like he check? Know. Can he check to see who checked the book out last? Yeah. You know, I was gonna say if he flips the pages, is he gonna see anything weird with the numbers? <laughs> There's a car going, a, a wagon <laughs> running across there. Yeah. <laughs> And then at the end, it says, everyone died from dysentery. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> Actually, hey, hey, Nanfang, can you read what somebody scrawled in the margins? Sure, I can read that. Can you read that? Yes. Um, you you want to ask the dungeon master if you can read that? <laughs> no, it's just, yeah. it's just race. Remember the black dragon? Are you allowed? Am, <laughs> I, am, I, am I able or am I too stupid? I will take an intelligence roll. <laughs> can I look over his shoulder? <laughs> Blah. You can, but I want to see what he rolls first. That's 16. That is a 15. 15. So it's a 12. Uh, uh, no, no. It's minus, yeah, three. minus three. There you go. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, it appears as though the notes have been placed in there by perhaps the field commander, uh, some kind of officer. Uh, they are reporting that a voluminous amount of spiders uh, have been attacking the curtain wall and the ground is starting to sunder. Okay. So we need to, so what we need to do is we need to napalm, just burn all of that oh, okay. there to get rid of the okay. spiders. And then, <laughs> are you there? That's, that's my plan. Okay. We're wrapping it up. Uh, and I think that is a good spot to end it on as we bring back Vietnam memories <laughs> that. Man Feng maybe even didn't even read the history book. Uh, Haggis, what'd you think today? Okay, keep it in schedule. I had a good time. <laughs> <laughs>
a man, a, a man of few words. Uh, Copious, what do you think? Uh, I think we lost the true treasure of this keep uh, early on in the adventure when the building with all the casks went down the tunnel, personally. But. Well, you haven't tasted it, so you don't know if it was good or not. I know. I'm waiting for uh, the time to do it. I was going to crack it open last night when we were resting, but just didn't have an opportunity. Because, you know, nothing says intelligent party tactics like getting <laughs> shit-faced in the middle of a haunted key. Yeah. Uh, let's just keep in mind, we were in a, a carpenter's hut, essentially, and we set fire to it as our combat strategy. So, uh, it was. Burn it all. We'll figure it out later. I, I'm sorry. Says the man who was Velcroed to the wall in the ale house. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who took... No damage. <laughs> yes. So let's retain back. Leaf, how much plant damage did you take with one attack? Oh, shitload, bud. <laughs> one, uh, and they punched him with this fist. I said, oh, screw that. Gotta yeah, die. Twice that much from that freaking bald headed son of a bitch. Uh, Leaf, what'd you think? <laughs> uh, I'd have fun with it. I'd still like to know what that saw was good for, him, but. Cutting. It was a saw of mighty cutting, man. It was damn near <laughs> artifact level. And it would, it, would, it, would, it would have carved through that wood golem like bunna. Uh, <laughs> Felix, what you think? Uh, I had a good time. I was very nervous. I was going to die if I went into that room with all with that neo Nazi chick because I was low on hit points. But one thing I did not catch: what was the? Did we figure out what those potions are that we picked up, or do we not know yet? Not a clue. Okay. Taste them. Taste them. Just drink it. It'll I'm not fine. drinking it yet. Yeah, I'll wait until I'm, I'm low one. I'm wondering if one of them is scintillating colors. That, that's a green room comment, folks. Uh, Man Fang, what'd you think? I thought it was great. I thought personally that I succeeded very well. And you had some, you said some tough ass rolls. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I didn't do great. No, you failed today. That's okay. You, you failed. Uh, the good news was you tactical retreated and then got caught on the wrong side of the fire. Yeah. I think that was the bright spot. And Robert of Zeppelin, what'd you think? I was very thrilled with the day. Oh. I got to burn something down, which always makes me happy. Hi, my name is Dave. I uh, like to burn. That's right. I do. I like to burn. It's going well. I'm enjoying it. Always like good combat. Uh, I'm a little frightened by Man Fang picking up a military tactic book, and now he thinks he's a general. Oh, yeah. He's That's telling cool. me what we need to do. He wants I, to carpet bomb. Ever forward. <laughs> yeah, he's ready to carpet bomb the rest of the castle. <laughs> Screw the jewel. We don't need it. Uh, folks, we hope you enjoyed it uh, as much as we did. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to shoot the shit about D&D. Join our Discord if you want to buy our crap. The link is down there. Uh, Carol, uh, I'm hearing you. It's not crap. It's high quality merchandise or low budget. Uh, don't forget, if you want custom dice like Pirate Dog Dice, hit them up at Pirate Dog Dice. If your game stinks, unlike this one, Adventure Sense is what you want. That comes from oddfishgames.com, who will also teach you how to write much more better uh, with their shine system. Uh, for all of us here at Murder... Oh, uh, if you want to join us on a one-shot like last night's uh, Saturday Adventure or on the talk show on Tuesdays, M Hobo Inc., Twitter, Gmail, hit us up, let us know, we will get you on there. Folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Week, we hope the rest of your weekend goes swimmingly, and we will see you on Tuesday. Dating game, kiss and wave. <laughs> Bye, everybody.